like, no, there's actually benefits. It boosts your immune system, it produces vitamin D, and it also is a treatment for depression. Is it true that um, candy causes skin cancer? No, actually, it helps decrease your chance of getting skin cancer, because when you go out in the sun, you don't burn as easily. Are you sure? Yeah, if it wasn't safe, they wouldn't let us do it. Okay. If you use this lotion, it'll help you tan even better. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hi, doctor. I um, think something's wrong with my arm. Oh no, it looks like you have skin cancer. Well, how do we get rid of it? Well, since it's c we caught it early, you have three options. You can get it surgically removed, you can get it frozen with liquid nitrogen, or you can get it removed with a low dose of radiation. Okay, well, which option do you think is the best? Well, the best chance of it not coming back is to get it surgically removed. Okay. When, when can we get this appointment made up? Um, well, since it's melanoma, you should probably get it as soon as possible so it doesn't have time to spread to other parts of your body. Okay. Um, how did my melanoma develop? Well, have you been out in the sun for any long period of time? Or maybe even been to a tanning salon? Well, I went to a tanning salon. That's probably how you got it. The melanin is what protects the deep layers of your skin. And when you have a tan produced, it's the melanin trying to protect your skin. And it can only be, like, it can only protect so much, so then the cancer cells start to develop. And then if they, like, have time, they go into your lymph vessel, or your lymphatic vessel. And then um, they like go to other parts of your body, and it can even go to your organs if it passes the lymph nodes. So it pr spreads pretty quickly, and if you don't get it removed right away, so I could probably book you a an appointment for Tuesday if that would work. Okay, Tuesday sounds good. I'll okay. see you then. Yeah, see you then. Bye. You lied to me. I got skin cancer. Oh no. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi. Hello. I would like to go tanning. Okay, right this way. Are there any risks in tanning? Yeah, there are many. Tanning can lead to premature skin aging, and people who use ta indoor tanning salons are 74% more likely to get skin cancer than those who don't use indoor tanning salons. Are there any other risks? Yeah, there actually are. Read this pamphlet for more information. That's crazy! One in eight people who have melanoma die, and if you don't wear the goggles and tanning beds, your retinas will burn? Yeah, that's right. There are way too many risks. I'm not sure why people use tanning salons. Here's some sunscreen because Going out in the sun can also increase your risk of getting skin cancer. Thanks. I won't ever go tanning. Um, some ways to prevent yourself from getting skin cancer are to uh, wear sunscreen at an SPF of 15 or higher. Seek the shade when you go outside. Don't burn. Um, don't use tanning booths as you saw earlier in this video. And wear a hat and sunglasses when you go outside. Signs of skin cancer are waxy looking raised bumps, um, hard red bumps, scaly patches of skin, moles that are um, changing size or begin to bleed, moles with irregular borders, and scaly brown or black patches of skin. If you notice any of these signs, go to your doctor immediately, and in other words, see your physician every year for a skin exam. And tanning and UV radiation are not the only cause of skin cancer, but are the main cause of melanoma.